All right, I gotta be honest. It wasn't that good. I may not go out of my way to get that again. Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Ryan Johnson. Over the last nine months, I've lost 60 pounds. I've gone from this to this, following an intermittent fasting routine. One of the questions I always get asked is, what are you eating? So in today's video, I'm gonna take you along with me and show you everything that I've eaten over the last week. So I started the week off with a 20 hour fast and for those that have been following my journey, you know I've lost about 60 pounds over the last 10 months and I'm looking to lose another 20 pounds. As I get closer to my goal weight, I'm starting to incorporate more and more healthy foods. I'm doing a little bit every week. So, so I broke my fast this week with a chicken Caesar salad and some brisket. Got home, had some uh, sugar free Italian sweet cream creamer in my coffee. And then for dinner had this uh, chicken breast cream cheese and bow tie noodle pasta with broccoli. Uh, that was really good and again just trying to focus on eating a few more vegetables uh, just putting them in throughout the week uh, i'm not making a wholesale change i'm just slowly starting to transition uh, into some more uh, healthy foods as i continue and get closer to my goal after dinner i had two apples and then i had a few of the ghirardelli dark chocolate squares uh, and then to finish the day off, I hadn't had enough calories, uh, so I always like to have this protein shake uh, when I try to finish off my calories for the day. It's the Premier Protein Shake, Smucker Sugar-Free Caramel, and a few scoops of peanut butter. And I will change how much peanut butter I'm putting in based off how many calories I need. I finished the day there at about 3,100 calories and then went into a 19 hour fast on Tuesday. And again, Tuesday I broke my fast with some lean protein and some vegetables. Hey, so I started getting hungry about an hour ago, about to break my fast now with this uh, turkey, collard greens, and the cowboy caviar. But one of the things I noticed um, when I started getting hungry was I really wasn't really craving um, junk food, kind of like I used to before. So I just count that, you know, as another positive win and a step in the right direction. While I was hungry, I wasn't craving um, really bad food. And I could just kind of attribute that to the fact that, you know, whenever I want a certain kind of food, I don't deny myself that, so my cravings for them uh, aren't that high. So just wanted to share that with you. So that's how I broke my fast on Tuesday and then got back to work and before I got home, got a snack from the vending machine and got some uh, pistachios. Uh, I would like to get these still in the shell, but they came out of the shell, just 120 calories for that pack. Got home, had a few more of the Ghirardelli dark chocolate squares. You will see that jar start to dwindle down throughout the week and then had a pork loin uh, barbecue sandwich for dinner there. And you can see there, I'm talking to one of my daughters uh, as I'm eating dinner. It, I keep bringing it up, but it's important to me as a father, as a husband, as a busy man um, to find balance in life. I can't go so strict in my diet um, that I neglect some of my other responsibilities. So it's very important for me uh, to find balance and to find things that are sustainable as I'm on this journey. And then after dinner, I had a cutie. And then uh, to kind of make sure that I was getting enough calories throughout the day, again, I don't want to eat too few of calories because that's when your metabolism will slow down. My girls have been eating a lot of Fruit Loops for breakfast, and because I'm not normally partaking in breakfast, I thought, you know, this would be a good time for me to have some of those Fruit Loops that I've been looking at all week. And then I had an apple, and I went back to the candy jar for a few more of the Ghirardelli dark chocolate squares and had a few of these caramel rice cakes to finish the night off. I used to eat caramel popcorn, but again, just trying to work in a little healthier options. Ended the day at only 2,500 calories, and then went into an 18-hour fast on Wednesday. And on Wednesday, I had a Chipotle bowl. My favorite Chipotle bowl is brown rice, pinto beans, steak, uh, mild salsa, sour cream, and cheese is my absolute go-to Chipotle bowl and had that on Wednesday. What's going on? About to break my 18 hour fast with this Chipotle bowl. Uh, I did a Super Bowl ad spoof thumbnail and uh, video. If you haven't seen that yet, I'm gonna leave a link up here. Uh, go ahead and check that out. I talked specifically um, about the Chipotle bowl, but about to break my fast with this and it's going to be great. A little later on, went back for a few more of the Ghirardelli dark chocolate squares. 
And after I picked my daughter up from school, stopped at the gas station and got some pork rinds for a snack, and then finished the day off with the Tyson Black and Chicken Strips. Again, I'm a huge fan of these. It's just a great go-to, full of protein, and most importantly, they are delicious. Finished the day at 2,500 calories, and then went into a 16-hour fast on Thursday. I mean, broke my fast with Culver's. So it's Thursday, which is my big day at work, and normally I'm not eating till the end of the day. Um, and this is normally the day that I'm having chicken tenders, but they just built a new Culver's, um, which normally I only have when I go down home to Melbourne and I wanted to stop and get their double mushroom and Swiss burger. So I got two of those. I'm gonna break my fast a little early. Normally I'm doing about 20 hours today, um, but I'm breaking at about 16 and a half, but I've already got in 13,000 steps today. And on my Thursday, I usually get in about 20,000 steps. So it's just a monster day. Uh, this is one of the days that I usually like to eat some of those foods that are a little on the higher calorie side just because I am going to walk, you know, probably 11 to 12 miles at work. So I'm going to have these Culver Mushroom and Swiss Burgers and uh, break my fast a little early. I still have about a third of my day left, so hopefully I don't, uh, uh, I don't regret this decision. Thanks. If you're enjoying today's video and getting any value out of it, do me a favor and hit that like button right now and leave a comment. Let me know what you're looking for out of these week of eating videos. All right, I gotta be honest. It wasn't that good. I may not go out of my way to get that again. Maybe my, maybe my taste buds are changing. Uh, I enjoy healthier options now. I mean, I ate it. 1500 calories yeah but again i'm moving a lot today so i'm not as worried about that but it wasn't as good as i remembered so again you can see my taste buds are changing as i'm uh, growing and learning how to eat healthier got home had some nuts and then some apples and some leftover pot roast and for a snack i had some uh, pepper jelly we had in the fridge and some toast <clears throat> And if you go back and watch any of my earlier week of eating videos, I've been doing them now for about 12 or 13 weeks. I'll leave a link in the description. You can go back and watch some of those. You can see um, my diet changes a little bit from week to week. What I'm eating this week uh, looks drastically different than 12 weeks ago. Uh, there was a period of time where I was eating no vegetables at all. Um, but again, it's all about making slow changes. The goal isn't to lose weight fast, it's to lose weight forever. Man, my hair is crazy. And by this point, I had already eaten 3,000 calories during the day, but I had a protein shake because on Thursdays, I do try to eat a lot more calories because, again, I'm moving 11 to 12 miles at work and finish the day at 3,700. And then Friday went into a 23-hour fast. Um, I'm always fasting a little bit longer on Friday because I know on Friday nights is when our family is going to have pizza. So we had Papa Murphy's, uh, which is take and bake. They make it there in the store, and then you take it home and cook it. I just got home. I'm going to go ahead and eat this first. So this is breaking my fast, but then I'm going to sit down and actually enjoy my pizza. You're breaking your fast? So you can hear my wife there in the background um, remarking about breaking my fast because I think at that point it was uh, 6 o'clock at night. I'd done almost a full 24-hour fast. Um, but that's one of the ways that I work balance in, you know, on those days that I know I'm going to eat higher calories, I, I like to do longer fasts. So I still end the day. Um, at near my target of you know 26 to 2700 calories um, but don't overeat just because I'm eating in a smaller period of time and then again going back to the uh, Ghirardelli's to finish the day off and only finish the day at 2300 calories because we got the D-Light pizza the thin crust Saturday went into a 16 hour fast and you can see there in my freezer just full of the Tyson black and chicken strips um, I cannot say it enough these things are an absolute lifesaver for me an absolute go-to. I love having these things uh, either to break my fast or later on in the day if I need to get some protein. This is a delicious, delicious option uh, for protein. And then I had some of the Italian sweet cream sugar-free creamer in my coffee and went back to the candy jar for a few more of the Ghirardelli dark chocolate squares. Almost finished those off. Had an apple. And then after the apple, uh, my wife and girls had actually made some chocolate covered strawberries getting ready for the Valentine season. Uh, so I had a few of those and then had some leftovers of the uh, chicken bow tie pasta from earlier in the week, had that. And then uh, I was taking the girls out for a date night on Saturday. We were gonna go out to the movies and they wanted to get a little time on camera before we went out to the movies. 
After dinner, I had a few more chocolate-covered strawberries and then finished the day off with the chocolate, peanut butter, sugar-free caramel uh, protein shake. Again, this is just a staple in my diet. It's always helpful to have something that you know you can count on and then finished the day there at about 2,600 calories and then went into an 18-hour fast on Sunday. I broke my fast with some mixed nuts. Again, I prefer the mixed nuts without the peanuts in them. Had some of those and then some leftover pizza. And then after the leftover pizza, I actually made a recipe that I had seen another YouTuber make for Super Bowl snacks. She made uh, white chocolate peanut butter pecan clusters. Um, so it's just a, a few scoops of peanut butter, uh, some white chocolate chips there, no sugar added. This is a keto friendly snack. And I'll leave a link in the description below as well as a card here on the screen. If you're interested, you can check those out. But we made those and they were very delicious, really easy to make. Um, just mix in the white chocolate and peanut butter in the microwave there and then add in the pecans and you can see I scoop those out put those in the refrigerator uh, to cool and then for lunch on Sunday afternoon my wife had made turkey burgers uh, which were very delicious uh, I believe these were Genio turkey burgers they were very good and after the burger the clusters had cooled enough I had one of those and they ended up being very delicious and I'm going to eat those through next week as well Hey, so it's Sunday afternoon. I just finished at the gym. I had an absolutely great workout, just absolutely killer. Sorry I didn't bring you guys in there with me. Um, I know I've been doing that, but I really wanted to focus on having a high intensity workout versus uh, worrying about filming in the gym today. Um, but it's Sunday afternoon. I just got in a weightlifting bodybuilding workout. Um, I did dumbbell bench presses, some lat pull downs, um, some tricep push downs, some barbell curls, and some shoulder lateral raises. Uh, it was a great workout and um, that was my exercise for this week. And then got back from the gym on Sunday, broke my fast with two apples and then had some cuties. Again, just trying to eat a lot more fruit. And then my wife had made me an espresso that was very good from our Nespresso pot. And then for dinner, we had asparagus, steak, and baked potatoes. Uh, the asparagus there, we just do drizzle on olive oil, add salt and pepper, roast that in the oven, as well as the baked potatoes we do in the oven. And then the steaks, I have been doing a lot over the last probably six or seven months. Um, just fairly simple. I just leave those out to rest, let them come to room temperature, and add uh, salt and pepper to those um, after I've patted them dry. And then I'll put them in the cast iron skillet to get a good sear on them. And once they're in the cast iron skillet, um, and they get that good sear on them. I'll flip them and put a sear on the other side, add some butter to it, and I will butter baste those. It just worked out really well for me. These turn out really good, um, very delicious, and really easy to do. Uh, so I have enjoyed cooking these steaks in the cast iron. Again, for me, it is easier to stick to a diet if I know I have a staple. And for me, these steaks done in the cast iron skillet is just something that I know I can go back to uh, for a simple, easy, uh, healthy meal, and then put those down, let them rest. And you can see there, uh, we had the entire dinner. It was very good, the baked potatoes, asparagus, and steak on Sunday night. So losing the weight over the last 10 months really has been a process for me. And one of the things that I'm really trying to focus on is doing those simple, small steps to build strong habits that I will be able to continue on. Um, I've done the crash diets before, and it never works out in the long run. Uh, so just making sure that I'm incorporating a few changes every week. And then after dinner, I had the a few more of those white chocolate peanut butter clusters. And if you've enjoyed today's video and are interested in starting on your own uh, intermittent fasting journey and want to see my tips and strategies for success, I'm going to leave some videos on the screen now. I encourage you to check those out. And remember, we're not looking to lose weight fast. We're looking to lose weight forever. And I'll see you over there.